two new health apps have just been released that can save you from a catastrophic event. In this video, I'll tell you what those are and how to use them. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. As a physician, I am so excited about these two new apps as these can prevent serious health complications. Let's go over these and I'll explain how they work. In this video, we're going to talk a lot about atrial fibrillation. You may not know what that is. I want you to go back and watch a video I made called Your Heart and Your Smartwatch. I'll put the link up here and down below in the description. Please watch that video before you watch this one. If you watched my video, Your Heart and Your Watch, then you will understand that atrial fibrillation can be diagnosed with the ECG app on your phone. Now, you have to have symptoms. So what would happen is you might feel your chest palpitating, your heart rate going up. You then think this could be atrial fibrillation. You then activate the ECG app on your watch and it does what we call an ECG. But the important thing is it interprets it and will tell you if you have atrial fibrillation or you do not. This saves it as a, in your health app and will be available to email uh, or send to your healthcare provider. Now there are three watches that do this. The Apple Watch does it, the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 5 do it, and of course the Fitbit Sense line does this as well. So all three watches have been cleared by the FDA for one specific purpose. It doesn't tell you if you're having a heart attack, doesn't need to tell, doesn't tell you if you uh, need to go to the hospital. It only tells you if you have atrial fibrillation. And that is all that app does. When we expand this into the new app that is occurring on the Apple Watch and the Fitbit Sense, we're now monitoring your heart on a periodic basis through the day. This often occurs at night when you're sleeping because you're not active. It's harder to do the ECG when you're active. But periodically, both these watches are going to sample your heart rate and notify you if you have any periods of atrial fibrillation. Will it get all the rates? No. Will it turn on automatically when you actually have a period of atrial fibrillation and don't know you have it? Probably not. What they do is they randomly sample through the day and look for atrial fibrillation. All right, there are two new features that have been released for the Apple Watch OS 9. The operating system 9 has two distinct and separate features to do with atrial fibrillation. Now, there are two groups of patients. First, there are the patients that do not know they have atrial fibrillation. We know that atrial fibrillation over the age of 60 goes up exponentially. So it is very common. It is also the third commonest cause of stroke in the United States. The problem is patients don't know they have atrial fibrillation because it can be asymptomatic, which really means you don't have any symptoms and don't know you have it. Irregular rhythm notification is a separate feature from atrial fibrillation history. Irregular rhythm notification is for people who don't know they have atrial fibrillation. They just want their heart monitored to figure out if this is a problem. The atrial fibrillation history feature is for people who have been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. So the two are quite different. In fact, you can't have both activated at one time. So the irregular rhythm notification samples your heartbeat through the day, most of the time at rest because it's easier to diagnose and looks for atrial fibrillation. If it finds that you have periods of atrial fibrillation, it'll say, hey, you have atrial fibrillation and you need to go to your healthcare provider and get this sorted out. 
There's a second group of patients who have been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation and know they have the atrial fibrillation. These patients will be under medical supervision and want to know how long they're in atrial fibrillation, what are aggravating factors, and how they can get out of atrial fibrillation. For, that, for those patients, there's a second app called Atrial Fibrillation History that we'll talk about now. So we now have the ability on the Apple Watch to enable the atrial fibrillation history feature if you have been given the diagnosis of atrial fibrillation. This will provide you with weekly update on the deeper insights pertaining to your condition. You will be able to view an estimate of the frequency with which your heart rhythm displays signs of atrial fibrillation, as well as the impact that other factors such as exercise, sleep, uh, alcohol consumption have on your atrial fibrillation. You also have access to a comprehensive history through the health app with the option to download the PDF and send the information to your healthcare provider. Now, Apple has identified that this feature is available in Canada and the United States and will be approved shortly in many other countries around the world. So in summary, there are two apps on the Apple Watch. The first is irregular heart rate notification. This is where your watch will sample your heart rate periodically through the day and night. It's going to then notify you if it picks up any evidence of atrial fibrillation. Now, it usually monitors your rate when you're at rest. So it is so important that you wear your watch on a 24-hour basis. The second feature is, of course, the atrial fibrillation history. This is for people who do have atrial fibrillation, and this will monitor how long they're in atrial fibrillation and also what activity they were doing when they were having atrial fibrillation. This then compiles this over the week and gives you a report which you can share with your healthcare provider. So these two apps work quite differently and cannot be used together. Well, this is a good time to pause the video. At Tech for Senior, we make a lot of videos about your health. We would sure appreciate it if you could give us that, you know, like and subscribe as it helps us continue making high quality videos like you're watching today. So please click that button and do a subscribe. Let's get on with the video. Now, unlike the Apple Watch, the Fitbit series only monitors you for atrial fibrillation periodically. It does the irregular heart rate notification and it randomly samples you through the day and night, just like the Apple Watch does. It doesn't specifically look for atrial fibrillation. It's going to sample you at certain times of the day and check and see if you had any history of atrial fibrillation in that time. So it's so important with these watches that you wear them overnight because a lot of the sampling is done at night. One of the big advantages of the Fitbit app is that in 2021, when Fitbit did their big study with half a million people to look for atrial fibrillation, they used pretty much the whole Fitbit line. So the irregular heart notification on the Fitbit line will work with most Fitbit watches. That is really a big factor here. And I will put in the bottom notes all the watches that it will work on. Now, this is simply an app upgrade on your smartwatch. So you need to go to the Fitbit app and see if there is an update. And if there is, then the update will ask you if you want to activate the irregular heart rhythm notification. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Once it's activated, then it's periodically going to check you through the day and night and notify you if there's any episodes of atrial fibrillation. But as I said earlier, this will work on not just the Fitbit Sense, which does the unique ECG. This actually will work on the whole product line, which is really great. 
So let me show you how this all works out. When you update the Fitbit app, you'll be presented with this menu, a rather irregular rhythm notification. If you have a prior diagnosis of atrial fibrillation or are under the age of 22, then you're not allowed to use this app. This is an app that you will use if you are asymptomatic and looking for atrial fibrillation. This is going to do the periodic monitoring of your heart as I outlined in the previous section. Let's complete the application process. Verify eligibility. Let's put your date of birth and whether you have a history of atrial fibrillation. I qualify, have completed this, and agree. So I click the I agree. And then it discusses how the app works. I'll click Next. And what to do if you receive a notification? Well, we we've read that and we'll turn it on. And there's four things to note. If you don't get notification, it's still possible to have atrial fibrillation. Some people with AFib don't experience symptoms. And of course, Fitbit is only checking for atrial fibrillation, not a heart attack or stroke. All set and you're done. Just click that. Now it gives you more information about the atrial fibrillation app and how it works. And you're all done. Well, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you do have the Apple Watch or the Fitbit Sense series or any of the Fitbit line, please activate those apps and see if you have atrial fibrillation. This is particularly important if you're over the age of 60 because we want to prevent that stroke from happening. We also make a lot more health videos. If you want to watch these, they're on our Tech for Senior channel. Till we see you again, have a great day. Thank you.